I really should get some proper wine glasses. This is just ridiculous. How uncouth of you, Adam. Eight quid bottle of wine as well, and I'm flipping drinking out of a, what is that, tumbler? Now listen to me, boys and girls, hold on to your hats, because you're in for a treat. Oh, this flipping burger, it woke me up at night, like two o'clock in the morning. It just came to me in a vision at night, like a spectre in the night, a meaty spectre. And I just had this insane idea for a burger. And I tested it out yesterday, uh, like this is, Probably like the best burger I've ever made. Probably the best thing I've ever made. And I didn't really know what to call it, so I've kind of gone with the Swiss double stack with chicken skin bacon. That's right, chicken skin bacon. You heard it here first. So that's what we're gonna make. A delicious burger, Swiss cheese, all the trimmings, nice sauce, and I'm gonna top it with a fried egg and that wonderful chicken skin bacon. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make it. And listen, before we press on, make sure you hit subscribe and the grey notification bell. Yes, we're gonna make this delicious burger. You're gonna like it. I'm definitely gonna like it. Not sure if he'll like it, because you are fussy. Stink. Now, boys and girls, all good burgers start with a good burger sauce, don't they? And this is a very simple burger sauce. It's like your classics. Your ketchup, your mayo, your mustard, bit of vinegar, some pickles. And the exact measurements will be in the description, as always. So about three tablespoons of mayo, so about a tablespoon of ketchup, about half a tablespoon of mustard, the American style mustard. If you're gonna use English mustard, like use half a teaspoon, because that is much stronger. A little dash of vinegar, say about a teaspoon, some garlic, and I've got a couple of little pickles here, which I'm just gonna chop up and get those in. And we're just going to season this up, a little bit of pepper, a little pinch of salt, and then mix it up. And give it a quick taste. It's sweet, tangy, delicious. That's going to go great with our burger. But listen, that needs to sit for a bit, like half an hour, just so all the ingredients can make love. <laughs> yeah, boy. And get to know each other. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is to make chicken skin bacon, or chicken skin cracklings. Now, even if you don't make this burger, Make these, they're great little snacks. If you like pork scratchings, you're gonna love these, trust me. And they're so easy to make. You're gonna need some chicken skins. Now you're probably thinking, where do I get chicken skins? You can't just buy them. Well, simple, just get a load of chicken thighs, take the skin off, use the skins for this, put the chicken thighs back in the fridge or the freezer, use it for something else. Now what I've got here is a roasting tray with some baking parchment, just on the bottom. And we're gonna take the chicken skins, and that, nice, isn't it? It's like something you dug out of a crypt. And I'm just gonna lay them flat with the skin side facing upwards. Make sure they're flat, okay? Any folds, creases, take them out. Looks like something you'd find in Ed Gein's house. State of it. I'm gonna wash my hands. And then what we're gonna do is just season them up. Bit of pepper. Then we're gonna take some salt. Make sure you cover every single piece. Ed Gein would be proud. It's like someone's face. Next thing you do is take another piece of baking parchment and lay it on the top. And ideally you want a tray the same size that will just kind of slot inside. I don't have that, so I'm kind of having to use this dish. Just kind of press it on there and that is ready to go in the oven. And you need to bake those in the oven for 15, 20 minutes but you've got to keep an eye on them, all right? Because they turn very quickly. They can go from nice and crispy and golden brown to burnt in like a couple of minutes. So keep checking them every five minutes. And when they're done, you'll know because they'll be nice and crispy, golden brown. Well, like you would have crispy chicken skin on anything else. It's basically what we're doing. And I'd say about Gas Mark 5, I'll put the conversions up, but every oven is different. This oven is a piece of shit, but your oven might be really good and run efficiently and hot. And if that's the case, it might take less time. If you've got a bullshit oven like mine, it's gonna take longer. But you know, this is what we have to deal with, isn't it? So, whilst the chicken skin bacon is doing its thing in the oven, we can get on and prepare the beef patties. Now, I've since learned, after making burgers for many years, is less is more. I used to chuck all sorts of stuff, loads of herbs, loads of spices, eggs to bind it, flipping diced onion, I'd mix it all up, 
and then my burgers would turn out crap. They'd be dense, too heavy, they'd be dry, and the secret is not overworking the beef. So I've got two balls of meat here, and they're probably just over 100 grams each. And all you need to do is just kind of press it out, make sure it's a bit larger than the bun that you're gonna use, because you've got to allow for shrinkage. Here we go, burger patty, simple as that. Put some parchment paper on the top, and do the same with the other one. And I think our chicken skin bacon is ready. Should we get it out of the oven and have a look? Oh yes. Come here. Come down here and have a look. Look at that. Crispiness. Wipe your chin. You're drooling, I can tell. So I'm gonna get those onto a plate and as they sit, they're gonna crisp up even more. Listen to this. Listen, it's, like it's taking all my willpower to try and stop myself from just smashing these in my face. Oh God, leave them alone. Don't touch, they're for the burger. So before we get on and cook the burger, I'm just gonna toast my bun, this flipping massive bun here. That is a proper burger bun. When you go into the shops here in the UK, most of the time, you're presented with ease. Listen, that's, like a burger bun for a child. Now, if you want to know where I got mine, if you live in Leicester, I got them from Choice Supermarkets on London Road. There we are, shout out. But generally, if I want like decent sized burger buns, I'll go to those sort of independent foreign supermarkets because they just have everything. You ask for it, they've got it. And if it's not on the shop floor, they've probably got it out the back. So what I'm gonna do is get this pan onto a heat. I'm gonna add a decent chunk of butter. In we go. As it kind of melts and starts getting foamy and wonderful and hot, I'm going to go in with our bun and get them nice and toasty. It's going to take like a minute. A few minutes later. Hey, bitch! That's hot! Bastard. Right, I'm going to clean this pan out and we can fry the burgers. That really hurt my thumb. That did. My own stupid fault though, isn't it? Right, so we need to crack on and cook these burgers. So I've got my pan here. There's no fat in there. You don't need it. There's plenty in the meat. I'm just gonna season up one side of this patty. I'm only gonna season the one side because they're quite thin. I don't think I'll need to season both sides. So in with the first one. Listen, get it nice and hot. Open up all your windows, open your doors. In with the second one. Now, because these are quite thin, they're not gonna take very long at all. I'd say about a minute, minute and 30 seconds each side. So I'm gonna cook these until they form a really nice crust, then I'm gonna flip them over, and then we'll add the cheese. Okay, so these are not far off at all. So we're gonna add the cheese. I'm just gonna stack one on top of the other. Come on, on it goes. And for about the last sort of 30 seconds, we're gonna pop this sort of bowl on the top. That's gonna to create a bit of steam inside, help melt the cheese, and just finish off cooking the burgers. <laughs> yes, feeling this one. Right, let's assemble this burger. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some of our burger sauce, just on the bottom. Gonna go on with some green stuff, some lettuce. Now you want a crunchy lettuce like iceberg really, but the shop didn't have any, so I'm using this stuff, this bistro salad. Then some slices of red onion. I like that sort of hit of hot raw onion. Then on with our two glorious patties. Now as gorgeous as that looks, we're not finished. We're going extra today. I'm gonna knock up a fried egg to sit on top of that. <sighs> Come on. Fried egg then. <gasps> this is ridiculous. <laughs> and of course, some of our chicken skin crackling. One, two bits. Then I'm gonna put some more sauce on the lid. On, it sits, there's the lid. That is hot, that is hot. Right, come on, enough talking. Let's get it in my face. Boys and girls, this is damn right absurd. Go on, have a little uh, bite. The rest uh, is for me. Here we go. <laughs> mm. It's not often that I'm lost for words. 
But seriously guys, it's probably the most savoury thing you're ever going to eat. Burger's nice and juicy. I really like the sort of fresh, sort of hot flavour of that red onion. But that chicken skin bacon, it's like super savoury, salty, sort of crispy. Well, it's crispy chicken skin. It's bound to be good, isn't it? But that's definitely the best burger I've ever done. Hands down. And chicken skin bacon. Seriously. All right, and I call it bacon. It's not like strictly bacon. It's more like a crackling. But make them. Just make them on their own. If you don't do this burger, just make those. But listen, let me know. What did you think of my Swiss double stack burger with chicken skin bacon? But I am going to love and leave you because I'm desperate to get the rest of this in my face. So again, if you enjoyed it, stick a like on it, share it to your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe. There's far too many of you that are not subscribed. Hit the grey notification bell as well, because then you'll get notified of all my uploads. And I will see your beautiful faces in the next video. Bye for now.